Hello there, my name is Tracy L. Summers. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Canada. Today's video is going to be very short, but comes about as a request of one of my customers and blog followers. And she saw a folder that I had created for my card class. And it's a really simple folder. She liked the idea of not having to do too much in the way of cutting and, and folding, um, but it it's a nice size. These are the pieces for the cars that we were making in the class. And there's four kits there and they all fit inside the folder quite nicely. So she asked me if I would do a video showing how to make that. So that's what I'm going to do today. It's really, really simple. So I have here a piece of 12 by 12 paper. It's from the Fresh Florals Designer Series Paper Stack. Um, it's double sided as most of Stampin' Up's de Designer Series paper is. And what I've done is I've specifically chosen a paper that doesn't have any kind of direction to it. Um, so that when I fold part of it over, we don't end up with an up upside down design. So with the 12 by 12 piece, I'm going to quite simply score it at five and three quarters. I need to take out my extra blade. There we go. So score at five and three quarters. Score at six and a quarter. Turn it around and then score it at four inches. And that's it. There's no cutting. <clears throat> it's as simple as that. Okay, so you will find it very hard to see the score lines, but I have the two score lines up and down going vertical and what I'm going to do is we'll just fold it um, we don't need to do too much with this because um, being designer series paper it's quite delicate so we don't have to worry about pressing too hard on there and I'm going to bring some tear and tape in and I have the four inch fold done so I'm going to put some tear and tape on the very edge up to that four inch fold and bring it down. And then between those two fold lines, which even I'm having trouble to seeing, again, I'm going to put some tear and tape. And one final piece on this other end, again, up to that fold line at the four inch mark and bring the tape down. And that is it. So, just sharpen my creases with the bone folder. And with that folded up, I'm going to fold it over like that. I need to make the creases go nice and tight. Try and make sure you keep it straight. And again, on that other crease. There's that. So you can see if this paper was in one direction um, this would now be upside down so that's why I have chosen the way I'd have peel off the backing of the tape And it really is as simple as this. Fold that piece up, press it down the middle, just make 
sure you've got the edges nice and straight. And there is my folder, simple as that. Now you can decorate it, of course. You could um, just perhaps take the everyday label punch, you could punch out a shape, you could write someone's name on the front, you could use some twine or ribbon, tie it around, make it into a nice bow, she hopes. not perfect but no, you can get the general idea that was 24 inches of ribbon there for that um, you could even um, decorate it with perhaps a doily like that. and this is a gift tag that I created a few days ago and you could even Add something like that to the front as well and get your bow to do as it's told. So there you are, really simple, really fast. If you're doing a class or I think this would be lovely for Valentine's Day. Could you imagine um, tickets to the theatre or plane tickets somewhere exotic tucked inside? All sorts of things you could do with that. So I actually used tear and tape today on this folder, but I could have used fast fuse. And from February the 8th to the 12th, Stampin' Up! are doing a special deal on fast fuse. Buy one fast fuse with 13.1 yards of tape inside it, and you will get two fast fuse refills, each with 21.9 feet uh, yards of tape. Um, free of charge. So that's $33.50 worth of product for just $13.50 plus shipping of tax. So it's a great deal. It is only while stocks last and I have a horrible feeling that it may not even get past um, February the 8th. So if you do want to take advantage of that offer, I suggest you really get onto it and uh, and do it first thing on uh, the Thursday morning tomorrow and hopefully you'll be lucky to get in there and get some. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed that. So that one was for you, Brenda, and uh, I hope it comes in useful for what you have in mind. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.